Hey there guys, in today's video I am going to be talking about leaf bathing, a completely natural behavior uh, that needs a set of conditions that you can pretty easily replicate inside your bird's cage. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, you want to make sure to stick around because that's going to be coming up right after this. <music> Hey there guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about leaf bathing and leaf drinking, both of which are two very natural behaviors that you are going to see in a lot of parrots. Uh, now, a lot of us parrot owners have very strong feelings about bathing for our birds, uh, and usually the birds have pretty strong feelings too. Uh, a lot of people will say they'll bring their bird into the shower for bathing, and a lot of birds really like that. Um, a lot of birds don't like water directly falling on them, but they might like a very large water bowl uh, that they can go ahead, drink from, bathe in. Uh, and then you'll get some birds that don't really seem to fit into either category. So this might be something to consider uh, if your bird falls in that category. Uh, now where our birds come from in the wild typically is going to be pretty lush areas that do have uh, trees with a lot of foliage. Now when there's rain, uh, water will collect on those leaves and the birds can either drink the water directly off of those leaves or uh, they can actually rub up against the leaves with the moisture and start bathing in those leaves. Uh, you got to remember that in the wild, birds have to be concerned about things like predators that might try to pick them off if they go down to the ground to try to bathe in you know, open reservoirs. Um, or if they're out on a completely bare branch, uh, they can be easily picked off by flying predators. So a lot of birds are going to be really, really happy about the idea uh, of having some foliage uh, that they can go ahead and bathe in. Uh, now my friend Robin uh, from the Leather Elves, you may remember, we just did a video on how it is okay to do things a little bit differently. Uh, so that link will be right up there somewhere. Uh, you know, she has been talking about this idea quite a bit because where she lives, uh, kale is readily available right now in forms that make it very, very easy to do this. So in order to do this behavior, you're going to need some kind of foliage. Uh, kale works really well for it. Uh, you can also use things like collard greens, mustard greens. You want to check at the time of year because the time of year you are doing this is going to control how those plants are available. At certain times of year, uh, you're going to get that whole plant with a good stalk on the bottom of it. That's going to be great to work into the wire of your bird's enclosure. Uh, at certain times of year, they're just going to be growing it for the leaves. So you're going to get a bundle of loose leaves, uh, which you can make work. You may want to try to cable tie them together, uh, wire them together if you have bigger birds, um, or you can just shove them into a PVC uh, Y fitting. Uh, in one of the videos that I did where I talked about using browses in Richmond, I talked about how you can do that. Um, so you could take a bundle of loose leaves, put them in there. If you do not want to use uh, something that you get from the store, so kale, collard greens, mustard greens, anything like that, uh, you can also use cuttings of your favorite bird safe plant. You just want to make sure that you are doing that in a way that is safe. Uh, so I actually did a video on my favorite browse plants for parrots. So I'll include that up there as well, um, where it goes in what you want to look for if you're using plants from outside. Now, if you're using plants from outside, the quick rundown, you want to make sure it is non-toxic to the animal. You want to make sure that it is physically safe, that there's nothing your animal could get stuck on or hurt on. Uh, and it doesn't come from an area that has been treated with pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, anything that could be potentially dangerous to your bird. But uh, this is actually a pretty easy thing to do. All you're going to do is get these leaves of whatever form, wherever you're getting them from. Uh, you're going to get them lightly wet. You can use a spray bottle. Uh, my favorite thing to do is just go ahead, take a bundle of kale, run it under the sink, um, and then without fully drying it off, just go ahead, stick it in the bird's cage. But I can tell you a little bit more about how this is going as we see it in progress. 
All right, guys. So here I have, uh, this is actually my breeding pair of sun conures. So with a breeding pair of birds, you always want to provide them uh, a little bit more enrichment. That is going to help with breeding. Uh, but with breeding birds, you are typically limited because you can't do things like training or direct social interaction because they're not going to like that as much. Uh, no matter how good a bird you think you are, uh, you are a pale comparison to the other bird that they actually live with. So providing them a variety of different ways to get enrichment, to get their food, their water, everything else, uh, is a great thing to do. So here I have a bundle of kale, and it is just shoved through that side wire uh, right on this perch. Now you can see that this bird is slowly working his way into the kale. The first thing that he is doing is going through and drinking all of the moisture that you find on those leaves. Uh, now, even though this bird has a water bowl that is always filled, um, you know, this is a different way to get it. So obviously, uh, like most birds are gonna think, if they can get something that's a little bit different, uh, that's going to be better. Now, as you see him working his way into this bundle of kale, uh, he is starting to rub his feathers on the kale that does still have a little bit of moisture in it. Now, with a larger bundle of kale, uh, he would have been able to get even further in there. This was just a small one uh, that I had on hand that I was able to use. Uh, so again, you wanna check and make sure what your grocery store has available. But you can see that such a simple item is a ton of enrichment. This bird is absolutely enjoying himself uh, to the fullest. All right, guys, so you can see this is a very, very simple way that you can provide a great deal of enrichment for your animals. You gotta remember that in the wild, the majority of an animal's time is going to be spent finding food and water. So presenting them new ways in which they can get both of those things is going to be a great way to provide enrichment, a ton of mental stimulation. Uh, obviously, if you're using something like kale, collard greens, mustard greens, any of those edible greens that you get from the grocery store, not only are you providing an enrichment experience for the moisture, but you are providing dietary enrichment as well. So your bird can pick off those leaves uh, as they want to. So you're hitting enrichment from a couple of different fronts. So it's really, really simple and straightforward. So it is certainly something that I hope you guys will think about and consider doing. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching these videos. If you guys like these videos, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. That makes it easier to go ahead and get more content out there for you guys. Um, and I do want to thank you guys once again so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. All right, thanks. I do Bye. need to say thank you to my Patreon patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can find out more by visiting Hi Red Bird on Patreon or clicking the link in the description section down below if you would like more information. Thanks!